infinity. Where the dying takes form. Hello and welcome to another Form Affinity video. In today's video we're going to take a look at version 2.0 of my Config Pro. So we've got a few new features here. Uh, the first being the addition of an active outliner. So let's say you're working with a, a pretty massive scene, perhaps it's a scene that's been passed off to you. Finding where different objects are uh, can be a little bit tricky, especially if all of your collections are closed. So if I click on an object, I have no idea which collection this is in. Hopefully this will be uh, improved at some point with Blender. But the way I've set up the outliner now is if you click an object, the active will be up here at the top. You can see if I click a different object, it changes up there. So we all always have access to our, our active object here now. And then, for instance, I can, I can search for that. Now that I know what the name is, I can search for it here and find out a little bit easier where its location is in the grand scheme of things. Next, uh, a lot of emphasis has been put on the new asset browser. So we have a spot here where we can see it and here. So this button here has been added to our main top shelf and that just splits the view here and it's a toggle so we can toggle it on and off. Whereas this one here is a pop-up. So if you like working with pop-ups, that's available there. We can also add an asset with this little button here. So for instance, if I take the square, I can just, or the cube, I can just add it and you'll see that cube has been added there. The other cool thing with having the asset browser now is if I switch over to Hypershade, uh, we put the, the asset browser window here. And so now we get a preview of what our textures look like. And we can just drag them and drop them onto whatever objects we're working with. Next, we have a new feature added to the right mouse button activated marking menu and that's this guy here which is merge by distance so i'll show you what that looks like in action if i go in here go to vertices so as before we still have uh, merge by center at cursor collapse but we didn't have merge by distance until now so i can come in here click the merge by distance button and set uh, whatever we need here. I think it needs to be at two for this to happen. So you can see it merged by distance there. We've also fixed a few bugs with the last version. So this version takes care of those bugs. One was the cam tools was disappearing whenever an object was deleted. This whole little panel would disappear. So that's been fixed. It had to be modified a little bit. So we have lock camera transforms is all consolidated into one button now so if i click this it'll say select your camera first okay i'll select it and then it'll lock all of your transforms or conversely unlock the other bug was the that the f2 for object name wasn't coming up same with control f2 so those have been added and fixed Lastly, the NURBS sphere has been fixed. So this was thrown in air in version 3.2. So now that works and is fixed. No longer throws in air. So that bug is fixed. So I'm really excited to bring you guys the, the newest version of MyConfig Pro 2.0 and all these updates. All these updates will be also included in MyConfig Pro Annie. So be sure to keep a lookout for that video so that you can see the, the additional updates to that version of the config. So thanks you guys so much for watching. Uh, I really appreciate all the likes and subscriptions and all the comments. All of that's been really helpful. I couldn't do this without you guys. Until next time, 
Have a great weekend and we will see you guys soon. Take care.